the Arnold Strongman Classic, the holy grail of strongman competition. Athletes must will themselves past their competitors and the implements. 10 men, five grueling challenges. Spirits will break, records will fall, all to find the strongest man on earth. The 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic, next. It has been one of the main attractions here at the Arnold Sports Festival, and when you see it up close, you certainly understand why. The strongmen have heard about it, they have seen it on social media, now they actually get a chance to put their hands on it. It's the third of five events here at the 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic. Thank you for joining us, Bill. You have been all around the world. You've seen all kinds of strongman competitions with many different kinds of implements. How does this one compare to the stuff you've seen in your career? This is the most epic implement ever in the history of Strongman. Not only is it beautiful, it's heavy. Looking forward to seeing the athletes get after this thing in just a little bit. Here's where we stand after two events. Hathorpe Bjornsson is a perfect two for two, winning both events so far. He has a seven point lead over Ronald Heinle and Martins Lises, and he's running away with the competition. No one has ever won all five events at the Arnold Strongman Classic, and Bjornsson could easily be the first. This is a dominating performance and he has a commanding lead. There's no reason to think that he can't win all the remaining events. The Wheel of Pain is 21 feet tall, 40 feet in diameter, and it weighs 10 tons. And those wheels are filled with sand, and that prevents you from getting any sort of momentum as you're pushing. The winner of the event will be the man who pushes it the farthest in a 60 second window. And Bill, you obviously need to be strong. What do these men need to keep in mind while trying to push this around? Number one is leverage. You want to be on the end of the implement and you want to get your hips down. Just like when you're playing football, the low man wins. That leverage is going to create the force to get this thing moving forward. Number two is you have to overcome pain. This is the wheel of pain. You have to just embrace what's going to happen to you and you've got a minute to do it. It is standing room only here at the Greater Columbus Convention Center. The doors opened up early this morning and people rushed to get a good view of this formidable implement. Matyaj Belshak will be the first man up. His second appearance at the Arnold Strongman Classic. He finished sixth as a rookie in 2018. 60 seconds to push the wheel of pain as far as he can. And he has a minute to go and with those arms extended, he has that thing moving pretty well. It looks like his belt has come off from around his waist. Seconds, he's already gone 29 feet. But notice his hips are very Belt low. And he's pushing up. Now he's got his shoulder against it. His, his shoulder girdle started to get weakened. So now he's got his shoulder against it. You have to be a little creative with this event. You're just matching the event, matching this implement, doing everything you can to make movement forward, forward, forward. Inside 20 seconds to go for Matjaj Belshak, who has kept this thing moving at a pretty consistent pace, but now starting to slow. Final seconds for Belshak. And he is still giving this thing all he is worth, and that will do it. They will mark the distance and reset that, but a great effort for the man from Slovenia, Matjaj Belshak. 105 feet, six inches for him, and he employed a couple different techniques while pushing the wheel of pain. He starts off with his hands extended, but then his shoulder girdle quickly tires. He has to put his shoulder against the implement. This is a new event, so they're having to be creative as they go through this event to get that wheel to continue to move forward. Poland's Mateusz Kaliskowski is up next. He's only 25 years old, but is already making his fifth appearance here at the Arnold Strongman Classic. And he is starting the same way as Bell Shock, his arms fully extended. 
And remember, those black wheels on the right of your screen are partially filled with sand, 150 pounds in each one. So you cannot get any momentum as you continue to push. It's similar to trying to shove a truck up a hill that never ends. No, the, the sand rocks back against you, so you have to continually overcome that friction and that rocking back of the sand. But notice that a, that matting is actually overlaid to get some grooves for the athlete to push their feet against. Now going to the shoulders. Inside 20 seconds to go for Kalishkowski trying to beat Rajaj Belsak's mark of 105 feet 6 inches. Notice the laser hanging down on the implement. It's at the bottom of that sculpted creature's head, and that helps the judges mark how far Kalishkowski gets. Matyaj Belshak, still your leader as Kalishkowski comes up a couple of feet short. 101 feet, six inches for him, four feet shy of Belshak. You can see what this is doing to these athletes. Their legs are throbbing, they're completely spent, and completely immobile after pushing that wheel. The wheel of pain is living up to its name, and the carnage will continue. More from event three when we return to Columbus, Ohio, and the 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic. The 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Rogue. Strength and conditioning equipment that's built to last. The Wheel of Pain. Rogue's taken on to build the world's largest piece of equipment. This is probably the coolest thing Rogue's ever built. And that's saying something because we built a lot of cool things. Basically, it's supposed to be the wheel of pain from Conan the Barbarian, uh, a replica of that. It's supposed to be massive and huge, and it's a pushing event. So we're going to have a, a set amount of time to push the wheel as far as we possibly can. I think that'll be a fun event to do and watch, because it should be such a massive piece of you know, equipment. The wheel of pain has got to be the coolest thing that has ever been built for the sport of strongman. And Rogue's bringing this to life. It is an impressive piece of equipment, and the crew at Rogue Fitness did a tremendous job putting it all together back inside the Greater Columbus Convention Center as event three of five of the Arnold Strongman Classic continues the Wheel of Pain. I'm Sean Woodland with Dr. Bill Crawford, and Alexei Novikov, the rookie out of Ukraine, is up next. He's coming off a second place finish in the last event. That was the Husafel Stone Carry, but this may be a challenge for him. He is one of the lighter athletes in the field at 302 pounds. And now Novikov is going with a new technique that we have yet to see here. Now this is an approach that I don't think we've discussed. Shoulders on it, but with his head under the implement. I hope the other guys are watching. And Novikov is threatening to demolish Machaj Belshak's top distance. He's past Pritchett. His pace has slowed, but he has about 20 seconds to go. He is very close to Belshak's top mark. This is when you tell yourself that you're a supreme being and you will overcome. Every step is points. Five seconds for Novikov, and he is your new leader. Alexei Novikov once again with an impressive performance and now has the top mark in the Wheel of Pain. With this new approach, his shoulders are lower on the implement, giving him a better leverage point. Also, his mental toughness is really playing here as he pushes forward. He's very good at the strength endurance events as he's proven with the Husafel Stone and also now with the Wheel of Pain. Alexei Novikov with the new distance to beat at an even 113 feet. Up next, the Siberian force, Mikhail Shivlikov, fifth place overall after two events. 
And Judge Steve Slater on the left is making sure that Shivlikov is keeping his hands on the rope portion. They are not allowed to touch the sculpted part of that arm. He starts off with his arms extended. Now his chest is closer to the implement, giving him better leverage. Also, his upper body tires with his arms extended. Now he can just push with his hips and his legs. And now taking a, a break and getting that thing moving again. There's no momentum advantage here. That, that sand starts to move and friction starts to take hold. And now going with a similar technique to Novikov. Even pushing his hands off of his thighs. He's using his whole body. Five seconds to go. And Shivlikov will be in third place, 103 feet, so 10 feet shy of Alexei Novikov, and he was just trying to move this thing by any means. He changes his technique from having his hands on the implement to putting his shoulders on the implement as his legs fill with blood and his legs get heavier and heavier, and he continues to push until he completely collapses. For the second straight event, Alexei Novikov has the score to beat. But will it stand? The overall leader still to come, Brian Shaw, takes on the wheel of pain when the 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic continues. The wheel of pain event is, is very Raw. We no one really knows what to expect. It's it's amazing how how much work a rope put in just in one event. Just the the structure of it's ridiculous. And on the pushing event like this, after 30, maybe 40 seconds, you total burnout. But you must continue and continue. I think the best fighter must win this event. Event three of the 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic continues, and the crowd that arrived early to get a good spot to watch the Wheel of Pain has only gotten bigger, and they are ready to watch one of their favorites, Brian Shaw, a three-time Arnold Strongman Classic champion, fourth place overall right now. And remember, he is dealing with that hamstring that he injured in the opening event. Yes, this injury will play into this event because he does have to push off one leg at a time, and he'll have to compensate in other ways to keep this implement moving forward. He can't avoid the injury, he just has to cope with what's happening. Shaw off to a pretty solid start here. I would agree, Sean, he's doing a great job with this injury. A man of his height with his arms extended creates a lot of leverage with this implement, which will help him continue to push. 20 seconds to go now for Brian Shaw. Moving in a very steady clip. And continuing to gain distance. And now okay, the pain is set in. He's going to this other technique as a tall man. That might not work for him because of his height. Shaw, by any means necessary, just trying to move that thing. And that'll be it. And Shaw failed to catch the lead pack there as he goes 95 feet. Brian's doing a great job with this injury. He's using different techniques to move the implement. He is overcoming the pain, but clearly this injury does not allow for the distance to be covered that he would normally expect. And you can see in his face that he is very frustrated with this result. Martins Lises is up next. He is tied for second overall. This kid has a great future ahead of him. And Bill, you've been really impressed with him this year, and I know you think this event sets up well for him. Yes, it does. He's very strong mentally, and he's what we would call a gamer. He always has the capacity to rise to the occasion and do what is necessary for a result. Lises with two top five finishes so far. He is ready to go, and he will try to chase down Alexei Novikov's top mark of 113 feet. 
Got a good start. Hips are low, very good leverages. He's, push, he's pushing up on this implement. Lisi's with a good pace. He looks very comfortable with his shoulders locked in. This allows him to have better leverage on the implement. At this pace, he could be the new leader. 30 seconds. He's past Pritchett. Pritchett's mark was 76 feet 9 inches. This is where it comes down to Will. What does he want to do with, the, with this implement is up to him at this point. He's now past Brian Shaw. Shaw's mark of 95 feet. And he's creeping up on Alexei Novikov. And Martins Lisi's looks like he will be your new leader. And he still has some time. And he is done. But Martins Lisi's overtakes Alexei Novikov. With just one man remaining, he has the top mark. What's extraordinary about this push is that he's very comfortable with his shoulders locked in. He's got his hips down, creating tons of leverage, pushing, pushing relentlessly. The dragon continues to slay the wheel of pain. Martins Lisi's takes the wheel of pain 119 feet, 9 inches, and hoping for his first career event win at the Arnold Strongman Classic. The dragon leads, but the mountain is coming up. Hafthor Bjornsson, the overall leader, looks to make it three for three and rack up another event win as he faces the Wheel of Pain. The 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Rogue. Strength and conditioning equipment that's built to last. The favorite's got to be Hafthor. I mean, he's athletic, he's big, he's strong, has everything because Haftor win all competition last year, all the best competition. He's super ready, he's super strong. It looks like he's had a good training camp leading up to the Arnold, but I would expect that from him. That's what I like. I like to train that way that I just believe I'm a superhuman, you know? I'm here ready, and I'm going to do my best. If anyone beats me, then I'm, it's just like, congratulations to him, he's better than I am. So far, nobody has been better than the man they call The Mountain. I'm Sean Woodland with Dr. Bill Crawford as we close out the Wheel of Pain at the 2019 Arnold Strongman Classic in Columbus, Ohio. Hathor Bjornsson has won both events so far, going for his third win. No one has ever won all five events at this competition. Bjornsson certainly capable of becoming the first, but he'll have to chase down Martin Lisi's top score of 119 feet, nine inches. Haftor has his arms extended with great leverage. His sheer size creates a tremendous amount of force to move this implement forward. Bjornsson moving extremely well here. As long as he doesn't finish towards the bottom, he will remain your overall leader. And now he's starting to get to the tail end of things as he's chasing down and Brian Shaw, and now going to that style we first saw that Alexei Novikov employ. Inside, yep. 30 seconds. This one will be close. Yes, yeah, so every name that he passes is points. But he's keeping it going. He's got his shoulders against it. He's keeping his hips low, even for a tall man. That's where Lisi's nameplate is, and Bjornsson is quickly approaching that final seconds. And Hafthor Bjornsson oh. may not have gotten there, but he was close. He might have been a few inches short, and he collapses as something finally brings down the mountain. And we will have to look where the official measurement is, and it looks like Martins Lisi's just edging out Hafthor Bjornsson. A tremendous effort by Hafthor. He starts with his arms extended creating a lot of leverage for him to push this implement with a man of his height, but his arms tire. Then he puts his shoulders on the implement. He sacrifices some of the leverage to create more leg drive and pushes all the way to the very end, completely expending himself. What we would expect from a great champion like Hafthor. And Martins Lisi's 
is climbing now the wheel of pain after conquering this implement. Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentations of the women. Just six inches separate Lisi's from half Thor Bjornsson as the Dragon picks up his first career event win. Alexei Novikov, another strong performance as he takes third. Mark Henry is with your event winner, Martins Lisi's. Give me an idea of the, the, the feel for this and, and what it took to get into it. I felt like I was a barbarian savage that was taken from his homeland as a child. And it felt like I was there for about two decades pushing it. Didn't feel lovely. But here's the thing I noticed. If you go slow on that Conan's wheel, it pushes back. Because when I was trying it uh, on Thursday, when we came here to test the equipment, I pushed it slowly. It felt 10 times as heavy. So it, there's a threshold. If you get enough speed, there actually is momentum on the thing, but you gotta keep it moving fast. Otherwise, it does push back on you. Martins Lisi's pushes back on the mountain as well, and now he's all by himself in second place. Alexei Novikov moves into third thanks to another top three event finish. Brian Shaw, because of that hamstring injury, continues to drop down the leaderboard, and he is now in seventh place. The Wheel of Pain lives up to its name as the Dragon, Martins Lisi's gets his first career win. But it's the Mountain who is well on his way to repeating as the Arnold Strongman Classic Champion. For Dr. Bill Crawford and our entire crew, I'm Sean Woodland. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports.